Hey, I'm here at the Nichols Lures booth at the FWC. This is the Nichols Ben Parker Magnum Flutter Spoon that we came out with about a month and a half ago. So today I wanted to talk to you for just a second about how to use it, what equipment to use, and what it does in the water. So basically this is an 8 inch flutter spoon, just like our 5 and 4 inch flutter spoons. You're going to use it in the same way It's for schooling fish. It's a tool that works magic on schoolers. So what you want to do is you want to mark your fish, you want to cast this thing out there to them, and what it's going to do, with the surface area that it has in the different cup, it's a little flatter than most flutter spoons. So you're going to cast it out there, let it cradle a little bit, and then you're going to notice it's going to dart. It's going to shoot and dart down to those schoolers, and that's what's going to get them fired up. Um, you know, there was, a, there was an FLW event about a month and a half ago on Kentucky Lake. About half of the top ten anglers were throwing this spoon. So let me show you the setup I've been using. I've been using a 7-Eleven rod. This is a double extra heavy, but it's got enough tip to really handle it. Uh, you're going to want to use 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. Some guys go a little bit lighter than that, but that's what I prefer. Um, the reel that I use, you want a fast reel that's got enough guts to handle a three and a half ounce of bait. Um, a lot of fast reels aren't going to have the guts to handle, it's going to tear your drag up. This is an 8 to 1 ratio, so it takes up 35 inches of, of line per turn. So that means when you're stroking this big thing, when you get bit at the top of your stroke, you can catch up to that fish. Um, you know, it's, it's just another tool to add to your arsenal for schooling fish, and it's really going to fire up the school and get the bigger ones to buy.